Hello everyone, and welcome back to Don't Die, Wasteland Survival. In the last episode, we found this cave and we are about to go in. But first, I just want to say welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I put my last episode up. Um, I just started college again this week. <laughs> so it's... I wasn't sure. I just had my first class Friday and I, um... Whoa! Oh, no! Sneaky little skeleton. But yeah, I have my first classes again Friday. I am studying to go into animation. And um, I'm taking two classes at my local community college, a 2D and a 3D animation right now. <laughs> and theirs are on Friday, so don't expect episodes Friday. Oh, shoot, no, 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 no. No, bad, go away. Thank you, there we go. So yeah, that's... It looks like episodes may be a little bit less frequent, and I know they kind of went through a period of inactivity anyway. Wow, this is some cave. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. So if I'm a little bit less active even than I used to, that's why. No. No creeper. No creeper. Okay. Yeah, I'm really low on health, aren't I? Ooh, okay. We're okay. We're good. We're good. No harm done. Except I need to recover some health. Did I bring food? I brought rotten flesh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if I'm a little less active than normal, that is why. But for the time being, I'm back. And we will be seeing some changes as we uh, in these new episodes here. Or at least this... One. So starting now, I'm not going to record just a straight shot through everything like I have been because it's starting to get to the point where I occasionally have to do some more grindy work and yeah. Hey zombie sneaking up on me from behind. No, no hitting, no hitting. You hit me, I hit you. <laughs> um, so yeah, but... Um, I don't know how, for th for this one we may or may not cut it, but once I, especially once I, no, especially once I get into more of the actual building and stuff, we'll probably start cutting it off more often. Now you're just mocking me. Um, unbelievable. Anyway. So, while I prepare to go get my stuff back... Oh, come on, I had all my wood on me, didn't I? Well, I guess I'm just gonna go back down there empty-handed. And probably try to punch the witch to death or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what's new. Also, I did want to say I am making progress towards doing a prehistoric-themed Let's Play. I've talked about this a little bit before. Um, if you're on the Minecraft forums, you may have seen my mod, Prehistoric Spawns, which is an add-on to the Fossils and Archaeology Revival mod. And that is a mod that I will be using in my ar archaeological, prehistoric themed um, uh, Let's Play. I'm sorry, I can't think of No, you jerk, you're still... Get out of here, you jerk. Get out of here. Oh, no. No. Okay. I need to recover. This is bad. This is bad. This is not... Ow. No. 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 I'm getting armor on. Oh, come on. And I'm gonna fall in that hole, aren't I? Do I have a sword? I don't think I have a sword. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back to Don't Die as I die right away. Oh, this is my stairs. Sorry, this episode started out as a disaster. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of just what's going on. Do I have a pick or anything? I have an iron sword. Alright. Let's try to recover some before I go back down there and get murdered again. I gotta get my stuff back. <laughs> So, but in future episodes, as I start to do more actual mining, like, if I have to do any more branch mining, I'll cut that out of the episode. I'm still gonna go for 
probably a half an hour, maybe 20 minute episodes. Um, but they just won't be one shots like they have been in the past. And that will be starting today. Um, we shall see how that goes and see if you guys like that better. That was the feedback I was receiving was it's starting to get a little bit draggy. But I might as well. Are these guys still? Yeah, those punks are still down there. All right, let's put my boots on. Alrighty. I'm probably going to get myself killed, aren't I? Where? Oh, no, no. I do not want to get sniped by you up here. No, no. There we go. Got her. Okay. That's... <gasps> precious. Me precious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. I, I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm hearing part of another cave down there. It's also raining out. That could have something to do with it. Okay, we're gonna put that away, and then we're gonna go back. Um, and try and get the rest of my stuff, which is still sitting down there, back. There's a skeleton. He's down further. He'll probably get a hit or two on me before I can take him out, but yeah. Hey, Skelly. Go away, Skelly. No one likes you. Oh, or not. Okay. Now, let's run back and get actually get my stuff this time. So, I think that covers most of my announcements. Um, the prehistoric one that I'm going to be doing will be run similarly to how this is being run now, as in it's not going to be one-shot episodes. I thought there was a creeper right there for some weird reason. I think I just saw a poison particle out of the corner of my eye and I was like, oh, creeper! <laughs> but, no. Alright. So, now that we've got a little bit of the cave lit up, it should be somewhat easier. Let's put my furnace down. Get my torches at the ready. I'm still missing torches. So, there's... Those poison particles, man, they're messing with me. Come on. Here's the rest of the torches. Okay. So now we have the torches back. Um, inventory is mostly sorted out. I'm going to get murdered standing here. Probably. Ooh, lapis. And gold. And creeper. Go away, creeper. Don't knock me into lava. Okay. Alright. So... It's always a little hard for me to come back to these things, but I think I'm going to be hopefully a little bit more regular with my episodes now that I'm starting to get settled into college again. I only have two classes, um, and it doesn't look like they're going to be too terribly overwhelming. So, fingers crossed. We don't have fingers in Minecraft. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'll, that I'll be able to start recording more regular episodes. Um, the other thing that sometimes takes away from my recording time is I also do a fair amount of um, regular art. It's not, not just videos. I'm also working on now, at this point, it's going to be three animations and an upcoming animated series. That consumes some of my time as well. Especially since I'm an, I do art on Tumblr, and so I try to keep my Tumblr updated if I can. Um, I'll have a link to my Tumblr in the description if you want to check it out. It's basically a lot of fandom nonsense and randomness, and kind of just a bunch of a collection of doodles, really. Um, but it's it's a start, and if you like that kind of thing, feel free to go check out my Tumblr. Um, that's the other main thing I do. Um, but as far as the animations go, all three are for classes. One was something that I started in my summer class that I actually just finished. And that is set to release, hopefully, by the end of this year. It's going to be a short an animation, a short film. Um, the target is about three to four minutes long, pretty much. It's, the story is about wolves, and I actually, well, I'll put a link to the animation channel in the description as well. 
um, that's set to release hopefully in December. And then for each of my classes, I have an animation project. So you'll hope you'll be seeing also by the end of this year, um, two small animation projects. One is a 30 to 45 second 2D animation, and that's made with Adobe Flash. And the other is made in Maya and is 3D, and I don't have much information on the criteria for that one right now. But that is some other upcoming projects you'll be seeing from me. Those will probably be out in December, potentially January at the latest, depending on if I feel like I need to brush some stuff up after I finish the class. <laughs> So, but keep your eyes out for that. If I I don't just do Minecraft videos, I am pursuing a career in animation, and that's I also produce anim. I'm starting to produce animated videos. Um, but I will continue to do Minecraft videos as well. I I love making these, um, and I I wish I had a little more time to do it sometimes, but I have a lot of things to keep up with. So, but yeah, I'll have some links to other places where you can check out some of my other productions, other things that I do aside from making Minecraft videos, if you're at all interested in that. Um, now, as for goals in this, and I want to clarify, I realized in the last episode I referred quite frequently to a military base that's just referring to the survival bunker we want to make around the original bunker. Okay, these guys are falling from above. Oh, great. Um. <gasps> Dang it. <laughs> these guys are falling from above like rain. It's raining creepers and skeletons down here. So, I think I'm gonna make sure I get up here and like- Wow! This is quite a- Is that? <gasps> oh, we gotta get down there. We gotta get down there. Okay, so it's raining mobs from up here. I hear a spider coming. That is a normal spider. Go away, spider. Get out of here, spider. Get out of here, zombie. Oh, there's a cave back here, too. Um. What? Oh. Okay. That's what's going on here. Bye, chicken. I'm sorry, but I need your food. <laughs> um, that's just another name. The military base, survival bunker, whatever you want to call it, is the name for the compound we want to build around the original bunker. Once we start getting some of these outposts set up... There he goes. Looks like his pathfinding got stuck a little bit. Um... And so if I ever refer to a military base, it's the same thing and just me getting a little bit confused. <laughs> so, just to clear up any confusion there. Ooh, I want your bow. Your bow hurts. But we got some bones. I don't know if there's any way of getting the vanilla animals in this mod pack. I kind of suspect there isn't, but... Um, honestly, having a couple of wolves would be pretty handy, but I really don't think there is. Um... So, I guess while we're here, I've already kind of covered plans for the series. Um, I'm going to cover a little bit, give you a little bit of a taste of what we might see in my upcoming series. I don't know, a I don't have a name for it yet. Um, ooh, the Oe eyes in the darkness. <laughs> That's not the name. <laughs> but, um, the concept behind... The prehistoric series that I'm getting set up is basically a world where extinction never happened. So you're living alongside not only the vanilla mobs and everything. There are more creepers here than I would like to deal with. Um, and they actually helped me for once. Um, but you're living in a world alongside not only the normal vanilla mobs, but also alongside dinosaurs and other prehistoric mobs. So there, I know the Fossils and Archaeology Revival adds some Ice Age mobs. Um, and I have a, some other... So we still have automation in the, the world. 
And so there are a few mods that will deal with that. So it's kind of a hybrid between technology, <coughs> excuse me, and prehistory. Um, so dinosaurs spawn naturally in the world. That's a function of that my add-on prehistoric spawns because fossils and archaeology doesn't inherently come with that capability. Um, so that will add a new element of danger to the series because most of the dinosaurs, in fact, maybe even all of them, depending on the circumstance, can become hostile to you even during the daytime. So you'll have to watch your step all the time because you never know when you might have a velociraptor stalking you from behind. And then, of course, at night, when the dinosaurs are sleeping, because, yes, they do sleep at night, Fossils and Archaeology is a really awesome mod, and if you haven't, you should go check it out. <laughs> but, um... So in the daytime, you have to worry about the dinosaurs. At night, you'll have to worry about Minecraft normal hostile mobs. So it'll add an element of danger to even the daytime experience of Minecraft. We're, it, we're also going to try, a, um, at least in the beginning, a more mobile, I guess you could say, setup, because um, we ha in that pack we also have the Nomadic Tense mod, and that mod adds in the ability to make and set up tents, which are actually the tents, there's like three different kinds of them based off um, real life no tents that nomadic people made. So there's like teepees and yurts and different, different tents like that. Um, but they're actually, they're so cool. And I, I had never, I had, I don't think I'd ever heard of this mod until I was doing a little bit of research trying to figure out what other ones would go well with this new mod pack. And it's so cool. These tents are like actually their own dimension. And so you can put a chest inside the tent, dismantle the tent, take it with you, put it down somewhere else, and you will still have your chest with all your stuff in that tent. And it's so cool. I'm really looking forward to playing with that. I think it'll be a really interesting part of the experience and what I'm hoping with that is we'll eventually set up like a little nomadic settlement or something with in the middle like kind of I'm assuming we may travel a little bit at first especially for resources it'll make going long distances to get resources easier that's for sure but to also have just a setup of tents that we don't dismantle on a regular basis where they're all kind of just set up in an area I don't know. I can't really explain what I'm thinking really well, but I, I have some ideas, and I think it'll be kind of cool. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, are there mobs up here? It sounds like there are. I want to get up here. We also we have um, a grappling hook mod in that one. Um, uh oh. No, I'm not out of inventory. Why, why can't I pick this up? We have we have several cool mods. We have a few automation ones. There, there are a bunch of cool mods that I found that I'm really looking forward to playing with. Um, we'll have to see. One of the other things I'd like to do around is play with some wacky ways of powering machines. I'll probably try to recreate something I was messing around with a while ago, which is an automated machine that runs entirely on the power of cows. And it's pretty cool. Um... I may make a, make a video on that, or I that's separate. Um, I accidentally deleted my world where I had finally finished it. <laughs> but, um, even if we don't, even if I don't do that, you will get to see it in the, um, the upcoming series. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be kind of a, an interesting combination of technology and dinosaurs, um, we're going to have all kinds of cool mods and that. We're going to have Tinkers. Um, and I'm also planning on putting Tinkers in this mod pack here. Because I've, I've heard it suggested enough times that I, I think it's going to be something we go for. However, I have not... Um, I have not tested it with this mod pack yet. So I still have to do that. So, no Tinkers this episode, but soon. 
Um, I think we can get all the materials for it because we have gravel down here for the smelter, I mean. I've seen sand. I don't know about clay. I'll have to look into that. Um, but anyway, um, I think I'm going to try a 20 minute episode because we're at 20 minutes right now and I um, don't have as much time on my hands right now. So I'm, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Um, tell me what you think about the episode length. Should I go back to 30 minutes or should I stick at 20? Um, it, it means it's night at the surface right now. But, yeah. So get, let me know what you think about that. We'll leave off with this skeleton watching us here. I'll see you next time. This is Jay over and out.